Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. We must all be alike. Not everyone born free and equal, as the Constitution says, but everyone made equal. A recurring theme in movies, television, and literature, is the big lie. We've always heard the adage, if you tell a lie big enough, and keep repeating it, more people will believe it. I think the original version of that quote is attributed to the Nazi propagandist Joseph Goebbels. Although like with most historical references, Goebbels may never have said this. Anyway, might as well say he did a. Easy enough. Diversity in the efforts toward achieving it, as described by the agenda, is a lie. A big lie. So is inclusion and equity, nice ideas, and in a sane world, nice ideals to work toward. But, in our current bizarre world, all lies. In fact, as you well know, most of everything out there instigated and implemented by the government are lies. Big ones sad but true. Why are these things labeled big lies and not just plain all little lies? The woke culture calls anyone who points out diversity as a bigot or racist. For example, if a person comments on the unique apparel of an ethnic group, he runs the risk of being called a racist. The person who comments on an attribute of a particular race, good or bad, he is called a profiling bigot. If someone recognizes diversity and points it out, he is a racist. You don't honor diversity by cancelling anything that is culturally diverse. That doesn't make sense. Since these things have worked their way into the culture so deeply, identifying them and labeling them the way the culture does, qualifies as a big lie. I wrote a previous article about this, titled Pseudo-Diversity. The points I made then are slightly different than the points I am making now, but all similar. Here is a quote from that article that falls more in alignment with today's thoughts. It seems I am stumbling with the term diversity. Isn't that what all the fuss is about these days? Everyone seems to want to be identified and seen as unique, but at the same time, they wish to have no uniqueness at all. The culture seems to be wanting to cancel out any thought, thing, idea, concept, skill, culture, biology, gender sex, that claims uniqueness, a strength or weakness, a difference good or bad, but at the same time wants a unique title for all this, as well as a recognized exclusivity. Inclusivity and exclusivity. There seems to be no tolerance for sameness, but also no tolerance for difference. Now that's the formula for a mess. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. At the time that I wrote this, I was a bit perplexed as to why such a thing was happening. As with most stuff happening these days, it just didn't make sense. Why would they say one thing and then do another? Why would the woke culture be so ready to decimate someone for a non-inclusionary remark, yet at the same time advocate the blind acceptance of such unique and eclectic views, not understanding that such unique and eclectic people are by their very nature are not included? Am I the only one who sees this paradox? For a culture to truly be accepting of diversity, that culture must first allow diversity, and not be so focused on making everyone the same, and thus unnoticeable. There is a fine line between bigoted prejudice and tolerance. Tolerance is the operative word in a stabilized society. Tolerance, flexibility, and resilience are on the side of the unique, diverse, individual, or group. As well as with the majority group which may be accused of cultural bigotry. Yes, hateful prejudice is a trait to attempt to eliminate, but not a realization that people are different. 
We must encourage an awareness of differences, and along with awareness of differences, people should be allowed, within reason, to express their awareness of those differences. Oh look, that man is black, that person has a but is dressed like a woman, these people are different than I am, I noticed that, and I accept it, but some of it may make me uncomfortable. Maybe some of it I don't like, and if I feel it encroaches on my own quality of life, I may express that fact without violence or hate. A clear example of this is, the plethora of storytelling events in elementary schools. Cannot we reject such activities without being labeled hateful toward persons? To force people, through shaming, to love every lifestyle choice people make, and if they don't, to then be accused of being bigots, or worse, are arrested for a human rights violation, is not a good thing. People should be allowed to be different. This axiom does not only apply to people who are attempting to be contrary to the middle of the bell curve majority, but also to people who are in the middle of the bell curve majority. They have just as much right to be accepted for who they are, including their own beliefs about self and worldview, and not be bullied or legally threatened into agreeing with choices they simply do not agree with, such as a requirement to address people by their chosen pronoun. Yes, there is a gray area with all of this, and I do not mean to be bulldozing through this gray area with my sweeping comments. Although in my own personal worldview, I believe people even have the right to be racist, as long as they do not hurt anyone through their bigotry. I also believe a better society is created if these bigotries are eliminated. I believe the core of bigotry is a natural suspicion of differences. More integrated humans are less threatened by other people's differences. Although we may have a right to be threatened, it generally makes for a better society if we are not. Live and let live is the fundamental model for peaceful coexistence here. And we have, throughout our human history, tried to make a go of it. It is only recently that we seem to be making some serious inroads in this regard, until the agenda came along and mucked it all up. In other words, I do not believe that what we are experiencing regarding this insane woke crap is a natural organic phenomenon. The devil is making us do it, maybe quite literally. Once again, the carrot to stick tactic is being used. The carrot is the noble ideal of diversity, equity, and inclusion to all people of all cultures and ethnicities. Yeah, that's nice, we can go along with that. But then tell us all that we are despicable human beings for thinking men with penises and testicles should not be competing in women's sports, or that a person of color should not get the top brain surgeon position when they are not the most competent. Tell us we are bigots and phobic if we don't believe we should be required to guess someone's fantasy pronouns and wind up in jail or with a hefty fine if we fail. Tell us we are wrong to think of certain cultures as having certain identifiable traits, particularly from different periods in history, such as a person born and raised in the Chinese tradition having particular dress attributes, without being accused of extreme insensitivity, and a disgusting violator of diversity, equity, and inclusion then we are punished for actually recognizing that people are different. And we are being punished for believing that not everyone is entitled to every prize out there, but indeed some people who have worked hard or shown a particular skill are included in a special group exploiting those gifts, and others are indeed excluded. That is equity. Where is the equity in making everyone the same, everyone, regardless of their specialness or uniqueness or skill or talent or hard work, being herded into a singular sameness with everyone else? Don't fall for this DEI carrot. It is a big lie and a nasty one at that. It creates resentment, anger, frustration, confusion, and sadness. And above all, it creates the opposite of what it claims to create. Just what the doctor ordered, and we all know where orders from the doctor lead us. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable, and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.